In this video, I will be spending 100 days in hardcore Minecraft amongst a vast array of the prehistoric killing machines known as dinosaurs. So join me on this incredible journey of ups, <gasps> yes, one in 10,000 chance, and downs. <gasps> oh no! As we go from clueless to king of the dinosaurs. I spawned in a dark forest. What dinosaurs would spawn in a dark forest? What was that? Oh, I'm scared already. I don't even know what that was. I'm getting out of here. I'm running the opposite direction. Less than a minute in and I was already scared for my life. Oh, I'm gonna go this way. Oh, this place is infested. I'm in the wrong area. I'm in the... Everywhere I looked was something unexplainably terrifying. I'm not even gonna address what I've just seen. Oh yeah, Smellotones has reached the Stone Age. I don't know if there's dinosaurs in caves. What if there's dinosaurs in caves? I'm not fighting dinosaurs in pitch black. Are you crazy? Here is zombie. That's the first time I've played Minecraft and been relieved to hear the sound of a zombie and not a six ton behemoth running straight at me. <laughs> it's like music to the ears, that sound. Oh, more iron. That's music to the eyes. It's dark in here, man. I don't like the dark. I'm gonna go get some food. There could be anything around any corner. Ooh. Quick, kill their descendants. A dodo? <gasps> okay, it's a skeleton. <laughs> Imagine I died to a skeleton. Yeah, right? Who would do that? What? Of all the things in this game right now, I'm nearly dying to a skeleton. Good job, Yellow Tones, you absolute idiot. Nope, don't want to go near that. That is not a dodo. That is... Phorus Rakos? I don't know if he eats meat. I don't know if he eats plants. All I know is that I'm made of meat, so I hope he eats plants. So I hid away from the world in pure fear, like a coward. Oh, that was an eventful first day. That's for sure. Zombie villager? Spider? No. This is like normal Minecraft. Oh, it is normal Minecraft. It wasn't until the safety of daybreak that I left my stinky little coward hole behind. I'm worried that these things are aggressive. They're not. They're herbivores. No, they're not herbivores! Good job again, Yellow Tones, you absolute idiot. All right, stay atop the trees. That's going to be the play. No, 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 no. Look at you. Look at you. You're ugly. Can I hit you from here? Nope. I could hit you from here, though. I'm so lucky I landed up here. Eat, 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 What the hell have I just found? What is that? What is this mysterious liquid? I don't want to go down there. I'm going to... Hello? Are you trying to escape the dinosaurs too? I feel that. I like the cut of your jib. You have a tent. Hello. Um, everyone look away. I'm about to commit an atrocious act. You didn't look away. Nice meeting you, friend. Have fun out there. Oh, pigs, am I happy to see you. Just look at all this food. The piggies have hired protection. No, they're evolving. They hired protection too. Yeah, you're looking at me. I know you know I'd have killed you if you had no protection. I mean, look at this little colony over here. They didn't hire protection. You know what happens to unprotected little piggies? You get little piglets. That's what happens. Wear protection, kids. No, no, not kids. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's a creeper. Oh, man. Oh, there's two creepers. Oh, man, oh, man. Oh, iron. Yes, more iron. More iron there. I didn't even see that one. More iron, more iron. Eventually, I did shut up about iron. Oh, my God. We have Triceratops. That is so cool. I love this mod. Then came the time to leave my second temporary home, which, yeah, admittedly, was another stinky coward hole. Yeah, full iron. It was on this day that I actually killed my first dinosaur and got a glimpse at many more. Whoa, the diversity. Look at that. Even with the excitement of dinosaurs, a good cave is a good cave. I have to go down there. I have to go down there. Uh, I need to craft a, a bucket or a bouquet, as they say in France. And so I left the prehistoric world behind for some good old fashioned Minecraft. I'm going to Hansel and Gretel my way through this. I need to leave a trail of torches. Welcome to my top three scares from my time in the mines. Numero tres. Um, oh, God. Box up, box up, box up, box up, box up, box up. What are you doing? Literally boxed you, put you in the blender. You're literally free. You literally have zero IQ. How do you get boxed? You're literally dog water. You're literally rice water. How do you get boxed? Your ass. Numero dos. Is that a baby? Oh no, that's a baby. Baby zombies are deathly. No! Oh 
my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Go, 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 go. Wasn't even scared. Didn't even cry real tears. Numero uno. I need to place a torch down. Oh my... Why? Yeah, I am gonna leave this place. I managed to get out of the mines virtually unscathed. Physically, that is. Mentally, I had been tortured. My blood pressure was constantly spiking and I felt that I'd aged about 15 years. But the haul was worth it. Two stacks of iron and 20. That will set us up for a long time. I need to start thinking about a base soon, I think. And then I found it. Whoa! That is base material. I think we just found our base location. Look how cool that is. The only real threat I've seen is Deinonychus. What are you? Oh, oh! <gasps> They're Dilo. We found Dilos. I really want to build like a lily pad bridge. Um. Oh no. Oh god. I don't want to be this side either. <laughs> I just realized I parkoured into some Dilos. Some sleeping Dilos. The Deinonychus is fighting the zombies? That's insane. I'd sleep in a tree in the middle of the lake for the time being. Dilos have a one diamond chest plate armor rating, which based on my limited knowledge of the armor rating system seems kind of tough. Look at this. Look how cool this is. I can build such a cool base here. Whoa, there's like holes in it too. A castle on top of here would be amazing. Oh, I'm gonna have to rid it of Dilos though. I set up my final temporary base atop one of the trees as I'd now found my base location and this beautiful rocky precipice above a lake would be the hub of all my future activities. I began clearing the area to make room for any future grand designs. I had a vision in my head of the perfect home, a place as dramatic as its surroundings that also provided utmost protection from the many species of dinosaur we were sure to run into. But these woods were infested with Dilophosaurus. Ooh! And I can't hit them from here. <gasps> okay, how did you hit me there? So I had to be smart about clearing the trees. Yes, take out the trees from above. Until I realized at night they fall asleep and don't hear a thing. This could have been the plan the whole time. Good one, Yellow Tones. You absolute idiot. <laughs> Guys. Stop it. That's disgusting. For this project, I needed a lot of wood. And when construction finally began, the Dilos didn't make it any easier. Oh my goodness, that was nearly death. Let's take a look at it. Yeah. Since I couldn't kill the Dilophosaurus, I had to dispose of them using alternative methods. Get out of here, you. This was the Dilos territory. Living with them was going to be tough. Run, run, run. Oh god. <gasps> And on many occasions, I escaped death narrowly. Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. But somehow I'd come out on top. Oh, he's drowning. What a win. I then had the best idea ever. And with all the materials made, I started work on a contraption that could not only get us some of the best gear in the game, but could do it without me pressing a single button. An automatic fisher. I taped down my right click with sticky tape and sat and fished for days. Just imagining all the enchanted books collecting in the chest below the hopper. And when I excitedly opened the chest. Chest, chest, chest. Damn it, man. Nothing enchanted. How? I was severely disappointed. So I decided to fish manually for an extra day. Which went just as badly. Fishing wasn't our only problem. I've realized that we're in a version where you can't strip logs yet. Look at this. Pressing right click, it does nothing. And so I had to adapt the design. This involved a lot more painstaking wood collection with a lot more dinosaurs to worry about. Oh, I'm gonna get farmed. <laughs> oh! What? Nope, run. Okay, 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 okay. Yes! Oh. And the forest rackos didn't stop coming. Nope. How did you hit me there? What? And why does it make my knockback go? Come on then. Yes. Okay, it just hit me post-mortem. What? Look at that hole, by the way. I had to replace every single birch log. Because just like your mama, birch logs look ugly when they're not stripped. <laughs> I can't say that. I then finished the wall so it now ran the whole way around the cliff edge. This would encompass and defend my entire base. We got a wall going on. That didn't take too long. I left my newly created compound for the mines. 
diamonds maybe down here? Oh, just a creeper. Oh, there it is. There it is. Diamonds. Nice, five diamonds. As I was venturing through diamond territory, I decided it was a good idea to make a pick and collect some obsidian. Ah, more diamonds. Ah, more, yes. Now satisfied with my haul, I left for the surface. I hear dinosaurs again, that was a dilo. And there's a surface, is very near. Oh! Aha, I see home. Yes, successful trip, 14 diamonds. And my armor is very broken. I also got a lot of things from fossil blocks. There's a lot of things I can do with these items. So um, we'll figure that out after we've built our base quickly. <laughs> I also equipped some bone armor, which is slightly better than iron. The building process took a long time, so I'll slap on some of the most relaxing music I can find, and you can just watch it all play out. I had to destroy many things, such as my auto fisher, which didn't work. I went through many designs, most of which I ended up hating, and eventually tore down. After more time than I care to admit, I settled on a design that I think you'll like. I'm a lot happier with that, actually. A lot happier with that. The Yellow Tones castle building process was well and truly underway. I wanted to prioritize security. The way into the castle was a long and heavily guarded route. A walkway, a guard tower, and a bridge. Oh yeah, and say goodbye to our temporary platform home and the two trees that supported it. I knew I wanted the castle to have circular rooms, so I got to work laying out their template. I cannot stress the amount of stone I needed to complete this project. I was constantly stopping to collect more. The basic outline of the first tower was now starting to take shape. Details would have to be added later. The next tower was so big, it required the removal of my hard-built wall. And with the outline for it set in place, I was going to need a lot of stone brick. I knew I wanted this tower to be the highest point of the castle, but I underestimated just how high I'd want it to be. So after creating some cool battlements, adding a roof to the lookout, and further detail to the first tower, I took a break. This place is really coming along. Wait, were they not added into the game yet? No, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. No, we don't have lanterns. All right, we're gonna have to make do with torches. One thing I do know is that I wanna use spruce doors. There's spruce trees right there. I may as well head there now. Could definitely do with some more pigs. Oh. Uh oh. Run, 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 run. Oh man, that was close. What am I? Have you mounted the pig? I'll kill your steed. Oh, the pig's gonna kill. <laughs> what is happening? Look at this. He's controlling the pig. You can do that. You can do that. Look at our house over there. Ignore the big block of concrete. That <laughs> that will change. What? No. Double, double toil and trouble. After the spruce adventure, I was able to place all those lovely doors I was talking about. Now the dinosaurs would have no chance intruding. I need to go on a quest for sheep. Ooh. Oh, okay, I'm about to commit a crime. I couldn't find any sheep, but I needed wool. And, oh god. Stay away. How can you still hit me? Oh, what? What? Through the walls of the tent? I'm dead. No regrets, no regrets. Why, you freak? You just hit me once and ran? This is instead of sheep. Oh, oh. This is the other thing I needed. So what? Oh yeah, I've been doing this too. Oh! Yeah, this is the work I did down here. Um, time to introduce it all. I made a secret escape route from the basement of my tower, which is gorgeous. We're home and dry. Even though I nearly died about three times retrieving it, 
I was able to place the yellow wool in the shape of some flags at various different heights across my castle. And in my opinion, it looked good. Look at that. Look how cool that is. One, two, three flags so far. And we'll have another one on the very highest point. I need to go and find cows actually, because I need leather for books for an enchantment table. So the hunt for cows begins. Ouch. What is that? Is that a croc? Is that a sarco? Oh, oh, what, what? I'm lucky that thing. Why do things keep hitting me after they die? I just got jumped by a Smilodon. It was in fact some Sarko Sukas, Apexes, and some of the most dangerous creatures in the game. Well, other than a giant horde of normal mobs, apparently. Oh man. Oh, my health. I had only just survived by taking refuge in the lake. Youch. Good one, yellow tones. You absolute. Look at the arrows in me. I'm like a pincushion. All right, I'm going back out, and this time I've brought a bed with me. Don't shoot at me. Did your mother teach you no manners? She should have spanked your bony ass more times than she did, I'll tell you that much. Four diamond armors. That's stronger than a trike. Let's get a closer look. Oh! Oh, he wants me. Ooh, thank you. What, how many, sorry, how many diamond armors do you want? Is that six? That's six. That is crazy. I just want cows, normal, normal Minecraft cows. Oh, a natural village. Whoa, Stegos. Oh, you're six as well. Leather, no, no, you don't understand. I want the other way around. Stealing books is one solution, but I could still use some leather. Hmm. 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 Cow! 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 Yes! Unhelpful. Cow! Whoa, what is this place? Look at this. Biggers. Give me those. Give me that. 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 What is a golden javelin? I'll take it. Analyze. I don't have one of these. Give me that. Golden javelin. Let's try that. Oh my god, you can actually... While in this biome, I collected a lot of mossy cobble to detail the castle. Because I don't think you can craft this block, can you? Maybe you can. I might be wrong with that. I'm going to gather as much of this as possible. I'll gather all the mossy cobblestone. What? Why is there a forest fire then? Cows. Hi. Did you start the forest fire, cows? Why would you do that? I think I retaliated pretty fairly to the causes of the forest fire. I mean, I don't think they'll be starting any more forest fires anytime soon. That's safe to say. Oh man, okay, it's getting a bit packed here. Just as I killed the last of the mobs. Oh! Another village? Hi, I am not opening that door. I will watch you burn to death. <laughs> I think my house is this way now. Yeah, it is, it is. It's like there. Yeah, look! Oh, I knew it! Yes! I need to actually move into the place. <laughs> it's just a shell of a building in the minute. Alright, so, under here we now have a secret little door. You go through it, and look! Oh, I might just go with the prop 3. Why not? Oh! Oh, I got thorns on it. Yuck! I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Efficiency 4, I'm breaking 3. Oh. Infinity, yes! Whoa! That's a good one. Fortune 3, there we go, there we go. That's what we wanted. How much does it cost to? Only 13. To get power 5 and infinity, we're going to call it the Rex Killer. Because one day, this very bow will kill a Rex. It was time to try something that I'd been looking forward to doing for the whole video. Oh, yes! I tamed it! Oh, para, para, para. Can you jump? Why the hell can a parasol jump that high? What? How fast does this go? What? And so I took off at lightning speed over the treetops on my four ton steed. Yeah, <laughs> welcome to Minecraft with dinosaurs. Cave, cave, cave. 
<gasps> Ravine. Whoa! Brachiosaurus. I love you, Baron. Stay safe, okay? Eat. Yes. Oh, double ravine. It's like a cross. It had been a while since I'd been caving, and I'd clearly forgotten the dangers. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Huh. Honestly, this place is scary. Take a look at this. <laughs> oh my god. I did. That was an assassination attempt. After coming to a dead end in the caves with no luck, I decided to start strip mining. And it didn't take long before I was in luck. Oh my God, already found him. I've come this far. I've strip mined this far. There is my entrance. So from four diamonds, we got seven. Ooh, Enderman, don't look at it. Ah, diamonds. Here's a quick montage of all the rest of the diamonds I found on this trip. I hope it's satisfying enough. Six diamonds, wow. And I'm finally out of this cave. My trusty steed loyally awaited my arrival. And there we go. Oh, hello. And getting home proved an easy task as I could face the right direction and plow through anything in my path. Look at that. <laughs> That's what my power just came through, ripped through the tree thing. <laughs> Oh, I also realized that I can make a Danopedia. I should probably do that. Let's put our spoils in the chest. We now have 59 diamonds. Oh, I'd love to see it. Danopedia. 17 years old. This is all the things it can eat. Yeah, you're making a racket. You're going to get really annoying and loud, actually, if you keep doing that. Uh, wonder. No, stay. Now you stay there and look pretty. Is there anything else I'm missing? I don't want a hoe. Because if there's one thing that life has taught me, is to never waste your diamonds on a hoe. Yes, didn't get thorns. <laughs> yes, didn't get thorns on the helmet. We're not level 30 anymore. Oh, Prop 3's there. I need to go and kill a couple dinosaurs for some XP. I did have something in mind to kill. I don't know how possible that's going to be. I'm going to try it. Oh, man. They are mad. Yeah, I don't like you. I don't like you. Eat that. That did nothing to you. What the hell? Yeah, he's going to die. Yes. We killed Osako. Yes. By the way, I think that's how you tame them. You get them weak like that. Oh my god, the levels from killing the Sarko. Oh, look at my XP. What the hell? That was worth it. That's how you tame them though. You see how we stopped at the end there? I think if you have a certain item, which I do not have at this point, and try and tame them while they're like weak or fainted or stunned or whatever, it's just like Pokemon. You get in there and you can capture it and you can tame it. I think that's the same with all like apex predators. Whoa, it's just the lightning strike. What did that hit? I want to go see. Hopefully just the water. No forest fires today. Depth strider as well. I'll take that too. So sharpness four and then sharp four. Sharpness five sword. Section four for four levels. That's well worth it. We are now kitted out. I'd finally made the decision to move into the castle. All my stuff had been outside for way too long. So building a storage room was necessary. And when it was finished, I was very happy with it. They're all very neatly organized. Look, other than that one. Miscellaneous fun stuff, mob drops, fossils, wood, stone, other blocks, valuables, farming, armory stuff, and food. It's all very neat. I'm liking it a lot. I then wanted to make an entrance to my base that was quicker for me, but still prevented any intruding dinosaurs. So I started construction on a secret entrance. This would take me directly into the storage room and basement. The mechanism seemed to work after a little trial and error, and so... We now have a secret piston entrance. You look at it like this, you wouldn't know there was a piston door there. You wouldn't know, maybe you would, but hey, stop looking if you know. And at this point, I was sick and tired of looking at a plain concrete cylinder. So I thought it best to get to work and finish the main focal point and highest point of the build. The plan for this tower was to house my bedroom at the very, very top. And maybe, just maybe, one day I'd be able to let down my hair and be whisked away by a charming prince. Wouldn't that just be a dream? We're above the clouds. We're officially above the clouds. Here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I like that. That's cool. Maybe the stone could be brought down a little further. Oh, oh, I just looked at an Enderman by accident. 
there he is. Yes! Before we could begin work on the inside of the tower, I had to clear out a few squatters. This place is huge compared to my other tower. Finishing the inside of the big tower was fairly straightforward and just required a lot of wood. The design came fairly naturally and involved four large floors. The yellow tones castle design was now finished. I'd added details like buttresses and battlements. Arrow slits adorned the walls of both towers, along with some larger windows where I felt it was safe to have them. And of course, all had to be topped off with the four yellow flags. I now felt safe. Dinosaurs weren't breaking into this place anytime soon. But what about the interior, I hear you ask? Well, what better way to showcase it than MTV crib style? So welcome to my castle. You first enter into a Barbican-like covered walkway. You are halted by a set of double doors belonging to the guard tower. The tower features a spiral staircase, which when climbed, leads you to a classic watchtower with battlements and a flag. The perfect place to keep watch and shoot some dinosaurs. From the guard tower, you can reach a covered footbridge, the last line of defense between the outside world and the castle walls. You were first welcomed into a large round room with a staircase. This is a designated workspace. Again, it is two double doors that reveal a small protege, a defense balcony or vantage point of sorts. Heading down into the basement now, we have our storage room with a secret piston door entrance and a small escape route, like a fire escape, but on the edge of a cliff. Oh, I almost forgot the enchantment room. Under the staircase, there is a door that's very easy to miss, apparently even for me. Heading back upstairs and upstairs again, we approach, perhaps, the best defensive standing point in the entire castle, a huge outdoor covered watchtower with an extensive field of view over the landscape. This connecting sky bridge is the only entrance into the bigger tower, much like the other tower, defensively positioned arrow slits adorn every wall. Moving downstairs, of course, we have more arrow slits for defense purposes. We have two floors that are completely identical, large, and I don't know what to do with them. Sadly, no matter the amount of torches in this room, it seems to spawn mobs. Back up now to where we enter the tower, and when you climb this spiral staircase, you emerge into the biggest room in the entire castle. And because of its advantageous position, we can afford to have giant windows on every single side. And of course, it was only right to include the biggest chandelier the world has ever seen. Honestly, I think it's time we go to the nether, to be honest. It's such an awkward staircase, but I'm keeping it, I don't care. Yep. Where am I? Oh, okay. The old nether was so much less scary. Just find me a fortress early. I'll be happy. Oh my god. Wait. Is that what I think it is? That is, isn't it? Oh, already. The portal is just over there. We barely moved. How fortunate is that? We found that straight away. Is there a reason there's a chick in there? Is that normal? Get out of here, you creep. What are you doing here? How'd you get here? Should we make KFC? Are you ready? KFC. I gotta build out to this. This is horrendous. Why is it in the middle of a lake? It's kind of dramatic though. I don't think any of it is close to the land. <laughs> it's terrifying. Oh, wait, what? Oh, is that two in a row? It is. This one's safer to go to as well. All right, here we go. Yep, they're below. All right, this is good. I sat and farmed blazes for a good amount of time until I had more than I'd ever need. One more. There we go. The chests gave some pretty good loot too. Another diamond horse armor. What the hell? <gasps> With a head. Uh, 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 Cole, go. Ah, this is where I got in. Ah, oh, this is such a treacherous journey. I built across to the fortress in fear, and rightly so. Oh god. Blazes. Yeah, have that. But eventually, I made it across. Alright, we're in the other one. <laughs> okay. Ah, <sighs> oh, it's a dead end. Oh, it's all a dead end. Okay, I've got all I need. I'm just gonna leave. Oh yeah, I know how to get home. And we're home and dry. There's a little glimpse at my inventory. What have we got? Boy, am I happy to be home. Little spider. He's climbing upstairs. I'm gonna go intercept him. Hey! Hey! <laughs> That's another thing we need. Look, archaeology we need. This enchantment can be applied to a pickaxe for increased chances of getting relic scraps and scarab gems. We need scarab gems because then you can tame a rex. Oh, archaeologist won. Yeah. Yes, archaeologist. Yes! Right, we've at least got loot in two, so we can deal with that, I think. You know what, while we're here, 
I'm going to take these, these, analyze them. I'll leave that going and we'll come back and see what we got. I'm going to go caving with my new archaeologist pickaxe and try my best to get a scarab gem. Whoa, that's the sort of cave I was looking for. Hopefully there's, ah, fossil blocks. Nothing good. Great, nothing. Just got another broken agent helmet. Still no scarab gem. I don't know why I'm expecting to get one of these things. It's a 1 in 10,000 drop rate. I could be here for ages. I already have been. This is the best way to get food. And then by some miracle. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yes. Let me pick it up. Drop that. Purple achievement winning the lottery. 1 in 10,000 chance. Granted, we increased it a lot by having archaeologists. But look how many fossil blocks we mined. All of this stuff come from fossil blocks. Scarab gem. <laughs> yes. That took a long time. Yes. That's one of the things we could tame with our scarab gem. We could tame an Allosaurus. I think it has to be the Rex though, no? Did we kill an Allosaurus? I don't want to tame one. There we go. Yes, I killed it. What the hell? Oh, they can just break blocks as they run us here. Oh, how's that analyzer doing? I'll take the DNA. Bingo, Dino DNA. We came full circle. The first dinosaur we saw was a forest racos. And the first DNA we got is a forest racos. And then let's just put loads of stuff in each one. Got more DNA. Ceratosaurus and Mosasaurus. Oh, Tyrannosaurus DNA. This was huge. We now had our Rex. Right, we need to make a culture of that because then we can put the DNA in it and create dinosaurs. Okay, I believe I know how this works now. So we're going to put Tyrannosaurus in, Biogoo in, and we get an egg if it works. Please work. I want a Tyrannosaurus. That'd be really, really cool. In the meantime, I've had a cool idea for this tower, or at least the lower floors of it. Oh, and it's not to get killed by a creeper in my own home. All right, the museum floors. Oh, it's nearly done. It's nearly done. It can go wrong. It can blow up. Oh, look in there. There's a little embryo. It's done. Oh, it worked. Oh, the king. The tyrant lizard king, folks. Oh, we have a Tyrannosaurus Rex egg. That could not have gone better. I forgot we called our bow that. <laughs> the Rex killer. And now we want to tame him. Oh, man. I was thinking, where's a good place to do this? The whole Rex taming thing. And then I remembered this random tree that we made a home in towards the start of this video and how it's surrounded by water. Might honestly be our best bet. This is purely functional. It looks ugly as anything. But I'll put the Rex on that platform and then we have a place to shoot from. We're going to spawn in a baby Tyrannosaurus Rex. There it is. I don't. I didn't know it did that. Oh God, I'm a mother. How do I cope? How do I be a mother? How do I? Oh no. Do I have to sit on it? Let's what? Oh, you can kick it. No, mothers don't kick their eggs around like footballs. That's it. <laughs> it's moving. Oh my God. I'm becoming a mother. The miracle of life in front of my very eyes. A baby Tyrannosaurus Rex. Hi. Please don't. Please don't run away. What are you doing? I didn't think you could do that. Oh no. I've lost my baby. Ow. Ow. Why? Why? Is that how you treat your mother? Oh no. I'm a terrible parent. He's zero years old. He needs to be 12 for me to tame him. Sorry, 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 sorry. Misgendered. She. Oh. Just to make sure it doesn't despawn, I think I'll name it with the name tag. We're going to call her Sue after the largest T-Rex fossil ever found. And so, Sue was born. Yay! Sue the Tyrannosaurus is there. I should really be on the lookout looking for Enderman. There we go. Hey, get off my Ender pose, you. Sue, you made it to the top of the tree again. Yes, good job. Age zero. Okay, well, I got a lot to do before we can fight Sue and tame Sue. Yes. Get off it. Hey. Right, that's it, all of you. So you all get. You know what? It's time. While Sue is growing, I will go and kill the Ender Dragon. And so I threw my first Aya Vendor. Look who it is. Sir, you watch where this goes. Oh, still that way. Still that direction. What am I looking at? What is this? How has that happened? Why are you invisible? <laughs> I'm getting out of here. This place is cursed. Yeah. We oh, it's changed quite a bit, actually. Okay, we go again. I think it might be this way now. 
It's back. We went over it. Good. Oh, it went that way again. Wait, that's a different way. Oh, we're right over it. Cool. And it drops. We can probably risk another one. We can risk loads more, actually. I definitely made too many. Oh, cave. Imagine we fall right into it now. Oh, <gasps> yep. We found it. Oh, man. Okay. All right. I spy. Oh, hang on. We don't have any of this. We've got some mossy cobble. We don't have any mossy stone brick. That would look really cool in the castle. And the cracked, actually. The cracked stuff, too. Oh, found it. Let's have a look at this. What? Oh my god, we just have enough. We have enough with none to spare. And with that stroke of unlucky luckiness, I filled the portal. We were seconds away from the fight to beat the game. How? That is so rare to spawn with two. That is insane. If I would have wasted one more trying to find this portal, we wouldn't have been able to get in. I would have had to go all the way back. I stepped up to the portal hesitantly. Took a look. And jumped in. Oh, and we are up. And we're already getting... What the hell? That doesn't seem very fair, Mr. Ender Dragon. Why? And my water's gone. Brilliant. There we go. I can't believe he took my water, the Ender Dragon. I need to actually switch blocks, probably. Just fired the more of that stuff at me. There's one left, and I can't hit it. Yeah, let me out of it. Oh, I got it. Yes. All right, time to die, sir. Time to die. It's just going to be annoying if he pings me up in the air, because my bow is getting weak, actually. I need to be careful. My sharpness five sword was doing his job. Oh, this is big. This is big. There we go. I've only got a few more shots in the bow. I really don't want it to break because this is the Rex killer, not the end the dragon killer after all. I should wait for him to come down again there. Eh? There he comes. Ooh! Oh my god. Oh my god, I had to be quick there. That's like the one way he can kill you. Come back down here, Ender Dragon. There it is, there it is. This is it, this is it, this is it, this is it. Yes! I came a little underprepared there. Oh well, at least we're a high level. <laughs> oh, I also won the dragon egg. So, uh, all right, what did that? Oh, it's here. Cool. Thank goodness I brought my torches. Hell yeah. The next generation. We got the dragon egg. Successful trip. Off we go. I see the player you mean. Smellow tones. <laughs> Your home bed was missing or obstructed? Why? I'm getting flashbacks to when I first spawned in. What was that? Oh, I'm scared already. And there was a forest rackles right there. In fact. No. It's you from the first day. Oh, my boy. I think it's only right. Hands off my friend, you creep. Come with you. Yes, Forest Rackles. Look at this. Go and attack that zombie. Yes, Forest Rackles. Ah. Oh, and I thought you were scary. You're just a friend. Oh, and look, home sweet home. You've barely grown. What is wrong with you? What were you playing at? Does time not move in the end land? Oh, wait, I just had a really cool idea. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you ready? Look how cool that is. Two little Enderman figures and then the dragon egg. Goodbye, dragon egg. Goodbye. Sue, you've grown, man. Good job. How big are you? Two. I feel like time doesn't pass when you're not within render distance, which is going to really, really annoy me. I do have a plan to solve that, and it relies on me pushing. Work with me here. Oh, don't go off that way. If I can put you under my base, or at least near it, that means I can work on my base, and you can still grow. That'll do, that'll do, that'll do. Sue, you best stay there. You best not fall down. One thing I was going to do while I'm here, and while Sue can grow under the base, is start replacing some of the stone brick with mossy stone brick, mossy stone, and cracked stone brick. And so, with the alternative mossy and cracked blocks in hand, 
I scaffolded and water bucketed my way around the castle, replacing blocks in a random fashion that I think ended up adding just enough character. And as we were still waiting for Sue to grow, I had an idea. Ah, uh, you know what, there is one thing we could do. Let me cook. If I could get two more wither skulls, we could fight the wither. Oh, hello. But after trying for a very long time, I eventually gave up. Ah, uh, that was unsuccessful. Very nearly died, took a lot of damage to the armor, and not even a single wither skull had to show for it, so. With just over one Minecraft week to wait for Sue to grow, We'd done everything we needed to do, so I AFK'd until she was fully grown. And then when the day arrived, I was in for a shock. What? 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 What does this mean? How? <gasps> oh no! I don't care about you skeleton, we got way bigger problems my friend. Honestly I thought he despawned for a second, I got really worried. Oh, I'm actually, I'm genuinely scared. <laughs> I'm actually scared. Hey, what we need, we need the scarab gem. I need to make sure she's 12. Otherwise I won't be able to tame her. Okay, she's asleep. So just gonna double check the age because I don't want to mess this up. 12. Oh my God. Okay. All right, Sue, sleep then fight. Agreed? May the best man win or woman or 10 ton behemoth. Hey, I don't discriminate. All right, Sue, here we go. This fight with Sue was the finale my final test the most notorious opponent minecraft with dinosaurs has to offer and this fight was tough oh god run even with all my armor and all my enchantments i had nearly died to sue but the tables had turned i don't want to kill you i don't want to kill you with one more hit sue lay down to rest i had won the fight sue would join the team and then he killed her! And now, and now... <gasps> Why are you mad at me? Did we tame her? Uh, wait, have some, have some meat. Sue is full. Come here. Stay. Follow. <gasps> Sue, I got a challenge for you. Listen to me. Fight, Sue. Fight. Oh my god. <laughs> We are gonna be good friends, Sue. Come on. <laughs> I have an idea. Sue, are you up for some live feeding? I know you like live feeding. This, sir, is for what you said about my mother. Go, Sue. Yes. Yes.